be us. We're ready to win it. No, we can move back out. That's going to allow you to take market share in your community. That's going to allow you to step in and help out where the other person is now gone. All right? It's a question of who is the better business person. You or them? Who's the better business person? You get to decide. That's right. And Jay Warner feels exactly the same way. So I'm going to take you on the inside, all right? And I want you to think, if you're a broker owner, I just want you to think about how you're communicating with your salespeople right now. I'll tell you what good leadership is all about. You gotta play with confidence as a leader. And people follow your lead. What are you saying? What are the conversations you're having? Here's what Jay has to say out to our team members. These moments in time, they happen, you know, every four or five years here at this company where you get to decide. Do you just do what everyone else is doing? Or do you put a, a stake in the ground? Do you commit your time, your energy, and effort to building something special? And that's exactly where we're headed. And that's probably the most important message that I can give you from an earnings call from this, this video right now. What I know is, this is when creativity shows up. When you're in a spot where things weren't as easy, <clears throat> and you gotta think differently, now it's all about creativity. <clears throat> why at Rocket you're hearing about all of these different things that we're doing right now that are a bit outside of the box. It's because right now demands creativity. I want you to think the same way inside of your business. How creative have you been? What adjustments have you made? You have to make adjustments in order to be successful right now. Also in my office, you will find this. Everything comes at a cost. Just what are you willing to pay for? Serena Williams. You can talk about Tom Brady and all these different football players and male and baseball players, but this lady right here kicks all their butts. She's won more than anybody in any sport. It's unbelievable what she's accomplished. So when I walk into my office each and every day, I walk in and I got the monitor there, the window's there, and right there is Serena with this quote for me. Reminding me, what am I going to put into this thing? We talk about it like, you know, you've got to make deposits, with effort, put in, the, put in the creativity, to do the work to make the deposit. That's the only way to make the withdrawals. Okay. It's easy. Put it in, get it out of there. And she reminds me of this. Now, <clears throat> this is that self talk I talk about. Who do you talk to more than anybody else? Most likely yourself. Myself. As I'm talking to you now, you are having conversations with yourself. Yeah. And I answer that. myself too. <laughs> As I'm talking That's to you now, I'm having a conversation with myself. Right? This is what we do. This is how we create our reality, these conversations. I want to take you on the inside. I want you to hear what Serena has to say about self-talk. Because the thing about self-talk is, you get to decide when you're having that conversation with yourself, what you're going to think about. That's the power you have. And we like to say, what you focus on, you find. What you focus on becomes reality. You create the reality in advance through your thoughts. Do you believe this? Yeah. Am I getting too mystical on you? No. I don't mean to bring all this mystical shit to the table, but I'm telling you, it works. Now listen to Serena, because here's the one thing. Even the great ones, even the great ones have self-doubt. This is her talking about what she was thinking about inside of, of, of the tennis bench. You know, I visit hospitals all the time, children's hospitals, and these children have cancer, they're dealing with leukemia, they're dealing with all kinds of diseases, but yet they smile. Mm -hmm. That stuff really inspires me to realize, okay, you know what, I can be in the darkest of holes, in the darkest of positions, but I know that there's someone out there that I can help, I can change their life, I just never quit. And that's just what I, the mantra that I live by. Did you ever doubt yourself? I did, I did. I thought, I thought, at one point I was not playing one. I thought, gosh, you know, I may as well, you know, think about what I'm going to say. But it was a, it was a brief thought, and then I snapped right back, and I thought, now I could have been score 12 points in a row. Then I thought, all I have to do is break it home, break it home. And then I thought, there was so many different thoughts that went through my mind. One of them was negative, but, and that's normal. I think in life, you do have that negative moment, that negative thought, but what's important is that you don't let it overcome you and let it take you. Priority. You let it fall. You let it slide. And you let the positive thoughts come. 
That's called discipline. Now, discipline shows up in a lot of ways. But 